Did you know that prioritizing your tasks with the right method can increase your productivity by 25%? Now, if you're feeling overwhelmed by your never-ending to-do list and struggling to stay focused, I've got the perfect solution for you. The A to E productivity framework has helped me as a busy mum and business owner, and it can help you be more productive in your job search and your career, or even as a parent like me trying to juggle all of that and everything in between. And the best thing about it? You can get started today and see results within a week. So let's jump in. So the A to E productivity framework is a game changer and it's a way to categorize and prioritize your tasks so you're always working on what truly matters. Here's how it breaks down. A tasks are your absolutely must do's, your most important tasks. B tasks are your should do's. They're important, but less urgent. Those that fall into the C category are the nice to do's, but low priority tasks. D's are anything that you should delegate, so tasks that you can pass on to others. And E tasks are those that you should realistically eliminate as they don't contribute to your goals and can be a waste of your time. Let's get into how this works in real life and how you can start using it in your job search. So let me show you how the A to E productivity framework works in my life. Now, as a busy mum and business owner, I have a lot on my plate. I'm juggling everything from coaching calls, creating content for my social media channels, scripting, recording and editing my YouTube videos, calls with potential new clients, managing emails, inbound inquiries, collaboration requests, and let's not forget my company accounts. Now, on top of that, I'm managing my kids' schedules, their clubs, their school activities, and it can all get really overwhelming. But when I started following this framework, it really helped me keep on track. So here's how I apply it. So my A task, these are the things I absolutely must do to keep my business running smoothly. Now, for me, that's responding to client emails within 24 hours and managing my communities. Now, these priorities because I want to make sure my clients feel supported. Now, my B tasks are the ones that I should do, but they aren't as urgent. Now, this includes scripting and recording my YouTube videos in advance. Now, I know this is important, but if I've already got videos lined up, I don't have to stress about it every day. And then there are the C tasks. Now, things that are nice to do, but not essential, like updating my website or tweaking content that's already scheduled for social media. Now, these can work if I have more urgent things on my plate. D is for tasks I can delegate. Now, I used to spend hours editing my YouTube videos, but it was eating up too much of my time. So I found someone who's even better at it and delegated it. Now I focus on areas where I can add the most value. And finally, E. These are the tasks I've learned to eliminate. Now, you might wonder why I'd even have E tasks on my list, but sometimes it's hard to identify what can be eliminated. So a strategy I recommend is running your to-do list past a loved one or friend. Now, often my partner and I work together to decide what can be eliminated or even shared. And sometimes it's hard to be subjective about your own tasks. So getting a different perspective can really help. Now, this method has helped me massively streamline my day and prioritize what really matters so I can balance my work and my boy's schedule without feeling like I'm constantly playing catch up. So let's now look at this from a job seeker's perspective, which can be completely over overwhelming at times and feel like a full-time job in itself. Now, once you have clarity and a clear focus on what jobs and sectors you want to target, your A task becomes much easier to define. So let's break it down. So your A task, that's searching for jobs that match your skills and goals, reaching out to potential hiring managers or recruiters and applying for those positions. Customizing your resume and cover letter for that dream role should always be your top priority. Now, if you're wondering how best to do this, make sure you take a look at my other videos where I talk about how to put together your resume, find the hiring manager, and I've also got a video of what to say in your cover letters. So make sure you check out those videos after this one. And if you're not already, subscribe so you don't miss out on future tips. Your B tasks could be building out your network on LinkedIn for future opportunities next week, next month, or even next year. Now, this is important for your long-term career goals, but it can follow after you've completed your A tasks for the day. C tasks might be browsing and identifying more qualifications 
certifications and courses that could boost your skills. Now, while it's valuable to invest in yourself, this task isn't as urgent as applying for jobs or networking in the short term, certainly if you're looking to start a new job ASAP. Now, D tasks could be asking a friend or mentor to review your resume or practice interview questions with you. It saves time and ensures you're getting valuable feedback. And E, this is where you eliminate unnecessary distractions like endlessly scrolling through job listings that aren't aligned with your career goals. Focus on quality over quantity. Now, by focusing on the right tasks, you'll make sure that you're putting your best foot forward in your job search and avoid wasting time on activities that don't move the needle. So whether you're a job seeker trying to land your next role, a career professional looking to level up, or a busy mum like me managing work, kids, and everything in between, the A to E productivity method can help you prioritize your tasks and maximize your productivity. The key is to identify your A tasks and the things that will have the biggest impact and start there. Don't get bogged down by the small stuff. And if you can, delegate and eliminate the things that don't need your attention. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of my career growth tips. And if you enjoyed this video, you may also like this video where I discuss how you can be more confident. I'll see you there.